in this video i will cover load flow study case editor let's go to the load flow mode for this network this is dual configuration that means two incomer breakers are closed and this bus coupler breaker is open in this configuration i have created with the configuration manager this dual configuration that is single configuration also no load any unlimited number of configuration you can create today's topic is regarding this study case editor load flow study case editor how to set the standard load flow study case editor before hitting this load flow analysis button let's go to this study case editor here is the study case id you can give any number of study case id here so this is for your understanding to identify unique number up to 12 characters okay here it will calculate as per newton raphson method or adaptive newton raphson method for the iteration and maximum iteration is 99 by default data will provide and precision is 0.001 this is the precision so you can reduce this precision also but the error will be more so this is the typical value it app will provide no need to change here just go to this loading tab here already i have prepared another video regarding this load diversity factor what is the effect of this none what is the effect of uh, bus minimum whenever you are selecting this bus maximum and this global so i have already prepared separate video you can check it out i will not cover it here so here nothing as such and here in this adjustment tab over here you can see this impedance tolerance you can you can check or uncheck that means you can include the impedance tolerance for this transformer or reactor or if there are any heater so you can apply the tolerance you may or may not depending on your criteria so let's select this impedance tolerance for this transformer only and cable length tolerance length tolerance you can consider if it is the greenfield project or the new project you are going to design otherwise if it is as built or existing cable is there already the plant is running so you know the exact cable length as well cable details so no need to consider any tolerance in that case or the transmission line okay and here is the temperature correction for cable or busway you can consider also you may or may not okay nothing else here let's move forward to the next tab here is the alert alert there are two types of alert critical and marginal critical and marginal alert okay suppose for the loading if it is if the bus if the bus is bus loading is 95 percent then it will show it will it will show the alert as marginal alert for cable also 95 percent you can edit you can change also like this suppose 90 percent you can change okay so all these alert these are the by default 
value provided by ETAP. You can adjust also as per the project specification requirement. Here the bus voltage. So this is the loading part. Whatever equipments or switchboards loading that alert will come. Here is the bus voltage critical and marginal. If the bus voltage is plus minus 2% that means 1 102% when it is over voltage and 98% if it is under voltage. So plus minus 2% if the bus voltage maintains then there will be the marginal alert in pink color and, and if the bus voltage varies between this plus minus 5% plus 5% minus 5% that means over voltage or under voltage in that case it will show you the critical alert in red color in red highlighted so this is pink this is red so you can adjust you can edit this alert limit here for critical or marginal you can you can uh, disable also this marginal alert if you don't want the marginal only as per the specification requirement suppose plus minus five percent is there so directly you can check it with this plus minus five percent alert so below five percent below plus minus five percent it will not throw any alert if you check it here just to give the alert it will it will be said you can set it at one zero three percent also this can be changed in this way so these are all to set the load flow study case editor before running the load flow power system study so what we have done here is the study case id okay then here is the precision and here is the loading load diversity factor here is the adjustment if there is any tolerance impedance tolerance or length tolerance or temperature correction and here is the alert you can set alert for equipment loading bus under voltage over voltage and generator for grid excitation over excited and under excited so these are the things you need to set before running the load flow study case so now it's ready and you can click ok